All right, it's Frank from Kellogg Fitness. I'm gonna show you a glute bridge variation to kind of get the inner thighs, and it's kind of good just for overall health of the core. Sometimes physical therapists will do it, but I'm not a physical therapist. This is more like just to get the muscles working, add a little different stimulus. So you're gonna take the ball, place it between the knees, all right? I'm gonna keep my toes up. I'm gonna lay back. I'm gonna go hands up. That way my shoulders are externally rotated. All right, so I'm getting a little, uh, um, opening there in the chest, squeezing the ball not too hard. This one's gonna pop, but the tougher the ball, obviously, the more the resistance. You could also do this with like a medicine ball, too. All right, for the weight. And here, just gonna do a glute bridge. All right, try to use the glutes, so try not to get the hamstrings involved too much or the back. If you feel the hamstrings doing a little too much and you get that cramping, which you do. That means that we have something called glute amnesia. Like people kind of forget how to use the glutes. So because you want to get your hips from point A to point B, your body will do whatever it takes. I don't want you to do whatever it takes. I want you to use the correct muscles. So get the glutes to do this, right? Up and down, up and down. Now keep your head down too, obviously. It's a little bit better for the neck. All right, so visualize the, um, the muscle fibers in your glutes. Um, when you're um, at the bottom, they're like this. As you're coming up, they're contracting, pulling your hips up. So obviously your glutes sort of a round muscle. So you're here like this, and they kind of come together to pull your hips up, and they release, right, to uh, allow your hips to extend back down. Keller Fitness, peace out.